everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a really fun project to share with you today. This is a quilt that I'm going to show you how to make that is based on an old antique quilt that I found while at a quilt show on the East Coast and I made it just like the antique quilt. It's orange and I use this denim Essex linen. It has that denim-y look to it and it's just gorgeous. And then the color of the year came out for Kona and it was that mint color, that julep. And I wanted to see what this is going to look like in that. So just like that, we made another one. Let me show you that one. Take a look at that. Don't you love it with the julep? It's so pretty. I actually think this quilt would be beautiful in any two colors that you chose, and I can't wait to show you how to make it. All right, so to make this quilt, you're going to need some yardage. This is a yardage quilt that's kind of unusual for me because I usually do pre-cuts. So let me tell you what you'll need. So this navy blue, this is a dyed Essex linen, and it's called Nautical by Robert Kaufman. And you're going to need four and three quarter yards of that. Of your accent fabric, and we have used the Kona color of the year, Julep, and you're going to need three and three quarter yards of that. You're going to need three quarter yards for your binding, and I use this same Essex linen to bind mine. For your backing, you're going to need four and three quarter yards of a 45, or if you're using a 108, you're going to need two and a half yards. And I want to talk a little bit about this 108 because Missouri Star has come out with our own set of backgrounds and they're, they're color on color. And I want you to see, look, you can see, can you see the stars on this from there? This, so this is a Missouri Star backing and let me show it to you on the quilt behind us. If you can see, you can see the little stars on here, but they kind of blend in, which I love. Now, we have loads of colors in this for our backing. You know, we have aqua, we have orange, we have gray, we have all kinds of colors. But could I just say here, Missouri Stars got your back. But what we did was we quilted this in meandering squares, and we quilted it, generally, if you want to hide your quilting, you're going to quilt it in the color of your lightest color. And the, ours is this julep. So we quilted it with green thread, which makes this backing look like it has a pattern to it. And so I think that's really, really fun. So let me show you how to make this. So this is the block we're working on. I love that it's called Missouri Puzzle, for one. For two, you're going to learn three different blocks to make this quilt, which I think is really fun. And when you make a big block like this, your quilt gets really big, really fast. So we're going to make 25 of these, and it's going to make a quilt that is 75 by 75. And that's with no border. So if you want that bigger, add a border. I love a border. So first, we're going to start with our easiest block, which is these blocks right here. Now every block that makes up this entire big block each measures three and a half. So these are just three and a half inch squares and that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut a strip that's three and a half and we're going to go ahead and cut some three and a half inch squares and that's pretty, you know, that's pretty easy to do. So we've got this right here and if we fold it in half like this which, you know, this fabric is, is uh, not hard to cut through at all. It's this beautiful Essex linen. So I'm going to trim off the fold and the selvage. Make sure I've got both of those in there. And then I've got it folded in half and in half. So twice, which means that with this one cut, I'm going to get all four blocks. All right, so there we go. We'll set those aside for our block because we're going to use those. So the next block we're going to make here is going to be these half square triangles. And there are lots of ways to make them, but we're going to make them with strips because you'll get a whole bunch more. So you're going to cut a strip of the Essex linen in uh, three inches, and you're also going to cut a strip of the mint julep like this. And you're going to sew those together in a tube. So let me show you how those look. So two three inch strips, one is Essex linen on this side, the other is the julep. You're sewing on both sides like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer, which is just such a little gift. And these blocks need to end up three and a half, so you'll use trimmer A. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to line this seam line up on our tube seam line. And we're going to cut on either side like this and like this. 
And then you can come in here and you can cut off these little tiny dog ears right here. And this is going to give you, so the mystery of this is out of a three inch fabric strip, we're getting a three and a half inch half square triangle. So we're going to put that over here. I'm going to press it back. Now we need to make eight of these for this block, two, four, six, eight. And so there's several ways you can do this. You can flip this over here like this and, and cut out your three and a half on this side. Or you can flip the strip and cut the same direction. It's whatever works the best for you. I kind of like flipping the strip. And so we're just going to go along here and we're going to cut eight of these. And we're just going to keep doing that, you know, going back and forth and cutting them until we get our full amount of eight. Now, once you get your eight done right here, those are the star legs, then you need four more for your corners out here. So you're going to cut 12 for every single block. You're going to need 12 half square triangles. All right, so we're going to keep cutting those. Then we're going to make these little nine patches and these little bar blocks. So these are made from the same type of strip sets. You're going to cut your strips in one and a half inches and you're going to sew them together and you're going to make two strip sets. One strip set is going to look like this. So it's going to have the green on the outside with the one blue in the middle. You can see we've pressed toward the center and that's going to help it line up with the other ones. But this strip set is going to make these blocks right here and you need four of those. And then it's going to make the centerpiece of your nine patch. Again, these are one and a half inch strips and you're looking for three and a half inch blocks. So when you sew yours together, you know, you can just go ahead and take a look at this and make sure that it comes out to three and a half because that's what we're looking for. So then we're going to trim off this first part right here and we're going to cut three and a half inch squares because remember all of our blocks are the same size. They're all three and a half. We're coming over here to this and you want to make sure that your lines are straight. So watch your lines on your ruler. Watch your lines up here to make sure that this is three and a half. We are just doing this. If you want a ruler that covers the whole space and you don't want to use your mat as a measuring, you can do it this way. And then it lines up right in the corner and comes down and you'll make a nice easy cut. And you'll need four of these for your block, just like this, three and a half. You get that three and a half in your brain, then you won't make a mistake. You know, I was almost at the three right there. One more. There we go. All right, so you'll need four of those. So now we're gonna make the nine patches and nine patches are fun to make no matter what size, but when they get small, they're so darling. So again, your strips are going to be one and a half. We're gonna save this one out because that'll be our middle strip for our nine patch. And then we're gonna make a strip set that is one and a half inch strips and the Essex blues on the outside. So you'll need two of these and one of the middle. So let's go ahead and trim this off. Right here, we're going to trim our selvages and just and just straighten up this edge like this. And then we're cutting one and a half inch segments. And so this ruler right here has the one and the half on it. So you'll just line it up right there. You're going to need two for every nine patch like this. And then you'll need one of these for the middle. And so again, it's the one and a half. And then we're going to put this together and look how sweet this is. This is so tiny, but it comes together so cute, just like that. Now, because we have ironed this one to the center and these ones to the outside, they'll just nest up perfectly. So let's go ahead and sew this together so you can see how that looks. And I just love a tiny nine patch. I just think they're fun. You're going to need four of these for the quilt. And uh, you're going to get to where you're just chain piecing these and it goes together so easily. Okay, I'm going to finger press this one back like this. Just finger press it down and then I'm going to add this one. Now make sure you're adding it to the right side because if you put it over here, you're not getting a nine patch. I'm not sure what you're getting, but it's not a nine patch. So make sure you're adding it to the right side. And then we're just gonna go ahead and nest those first two seams up. So I'm gonna take my little anchoring stitch and then I'm gonna make sure that this is nested up right next to that middle square. And then the other side as well. 
and sew it down the side. And then look at that. Look how cute that is. If that isn't the cutest thing ever. So let me see right here. We're going to make this nice and flat. And you're going to need four of these. All right, so let me show you how we put the whole block together. I have some blocks already made over here. And we're going to go through these numbers again because as I'm teaching this, I'm thinking to myself, oh, wait, wait, I had four of these, but we need one more here, you know, and so let's just go through everything that we need. So we're going to start with our center block right here. We've got four, four half square triangles. We've got the three and half inch squares and you need one, two, three, four, five of those. We're, we've got four of our bar blocks and we've got 12 of our half square triangles. So we're going to start in the middle and we're going to surround this middle right here. We're going to surround it with the bar blocks. So they lay color, the color in. So the bars lay this way horizontally to the middle, except when you turn them vertically on the side. I guess that didn't, wasn't very helpful. Let me see. All right. So then in the corners, we're putting our nine patch blocks right here. And this in and of itself is a really cool block and a really cool quilt. But we're going to add star legs on here. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our three and a half inch squares and we're going to lay them on in at the bar blocks like this. Just this way and that way. And so now we've readied ourselves for the whole outside corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these up like this so that the legs, the star legs, if you will, in my mind, they're star legs, they come down like this. And all of these are going to go like this. And we're going to do this on all four sides. So the bigger part of the navy color goes next to the four patch. I mean, the nine patch. And I and I have to have these little mantras for myself. So the bigger color of the blue goes next to the nine. And the other thing you could do, you could say the green goes next to the blue right there. Like this. And then we've got one more over here. Turn, turn, little angly challenged. And then we're going to put in our four cornerstones. Look how cool that looks. And the cornerstones, because the blue comes in together, the green's going to slide in like that. The julep, if you will. And we're going to stick that in there like that. And this makes our block, which is called the Missouri Puzzle. How cool is that? So you're going to sew these together in rows. You're going to do your top row, your next row. You're just going to sew all the way down. You're going to make a block like this. Let's look how it fits in the quilt. So here it is right here. There's no sashing, nothing in between. We're just putting them right next to each other, which in turn makes these beautiful secondary patterns out here that we weren't expecting, which is probably my favorite part of quilting. And so it just comes together so fun. You've learned how to make a half square triangle. You've learned how to make a nine patch and you've learned how to make a bar block and I just think you guys are going to love this. It's very fun. Don't be afraid to play with this and change out the colors and make it fun. You saw I did it orange and we've also done it this way. Now also, sometimes when you make a block like this, it feels a little overwhelming. It's a lot of things to take in. It's three different processes to make one block. And maybe you only want to make four of those. And if you only make four, let me just show you what you got right here. You got yourself a bed runner. Look how cool this would be on the end of your bed. Like if you made this, I mean, if you had a really long table or something, it would work as well. But I was just thinking bed runner would be really cool. So what do we have on here? How many blocks? One, two, three, four, five. So one row and you get this bed runner. How cool is that? So that is a bonus project on this pattern as well. And I just so enjoyed this. There's so much history attached to it and fun using the new color of the year julep. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Missouri Puzzle from the Missouri Stark Book Company. Hey everybody, every week I give you a new idea and we are almost one million quilters strong. So join us every Friday for a new tutorial. And if you haven't clicked or subscribed, make sure you do that today. See you on Friday.